Yellow spinner, you're on pen stock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lanz, and today I will show you another pen spinning in anime video. The commenter Asama GX says, I need you to watch the episode 3 of the anime. A guy is doing a trick with his magic stick, and can you make a tutorial for it, please? That's a nice suggestion, and I especially appreciate pointing the exact moment of a clip you wanted me to break down. So, I am a spider, so what? Kumo desu ga nani ka. Let's watch it. No telling when a war might break out, though, so better to always be prepared. That's tornado. He makes tornado trick. I hear something. Do you hear it too? This is not a tornado. This is something new. Something that no pen spinner has ever heard about. Yep. By naked eye, it seems like he is doing tornado. But after watching this clip in a slow and real slow mo, I noticed that he makes it differently. Most likely, it is just a, an artifact, an uh, animation error, so to say, a glitch which makes index go under a pen mod and push it from another side. You see what I mean? His wind goes like this, then suddenly one changes sizes and pushes it from there. And if you want, you can call it a spider tornado, because this is anime about spider, as I assume according to its name. I even wanted to learn it and teach it to you, but there were a few buts. This element is easy to miss by an egg guy, I assume, and at the same time it is a tough one to learn, you know, because of this muscle memory and stuff. You need to keep most of pen's weight opposite to the way you keep it while doing tornado. The closest I could come up with is looks something like this. <laughs> I don't know, it looks a bit wrong and kind of pointless. What do you think? Does it look accurate? You know, I'm pretty sure this trick can look interesting. And if you will manage to learn it, let me know by sending a video of you doing this trick on an email cup at penstock.net. But today we will assume that anime creators kept Tornado in mind while doing this clip, and I'm about 90% sure that it is like, it was like that, they wanted to show Tornado, but they didn't know that meticulous pen spinners will watch it under microscope, at least one meticulous pen spinner. So, to make Tornado, we start with doing thumb round T1, when pen goes behind thumb, you turn hand palm down, straighten index finger and let pen roll over it and land in 1-2. This trick is called extended thumb round, there are a few hints and tips, a lot of them actually, to learn it easier and I have a separate video tutorial for it, more detailed. Check it out if this tutorial is not enough for you to learn it, which is quite possible. Especially, especially if you don't have a properly made pen mod, which will make your pen spinning journey much more joyful and your learning much more efficient, of course. Today I spin Flying Panda, it's been a while since I took it for last time. I mean, why spin in Flying Panda when you have several waterfall mods? But yeah, this one is still one of the best pen mods for beginners, especially in this price category. So guys, I've spent a few more hours with Flying Panda and can tell for sure that it is still a great pen mod, which I like and enjoy and I think that I should have it in my collection as well, as it differs from waterfall a little bit. So take it from penstock.net with the delivery to every country of the world and enjoy. So, first we do extended thumb round and try to catch pen mod in 1-2, but pay attention, we catch it with most of weight pointing away. This is important, okay? Bigger part, pointing away at the end of the trick. So that you can push pen one more time with the index finger and make another thumb round. When you can do it, do extended thumb round instead. Will be better if you can do kinda fingerless thumb round, maybe with a slight help of one to push pen. This will drastically help you to reduce pause between tricks and that's what we want. People don't want to see how you do extended thumb round one after another. They want to see vortex, a swirl, a compact 
uncontrollable tornado. So keep on practicing trying to reduce pause between these two extended thumb rounds. When you can connect two of them, move on and add another extended thumb round. And add them one after another until you can do this trick continuously. A mod should spin by itself and you only give it a bit of force by pushing it with one to continue spinning. Can't get tornado from this video? Man. But don't worry, I have another video with all you need to learn Tornado. We'll leave link in the description. And also, guys, this is not the first nor the last video with me breaking down pen spinning elements from anime. I have gathered such videos in a separate playlist, so you could find them easily. What are you waiting for? All necessary links are in the description. Enjoy your fails. Bye.